applied policy advice. And I'm going to start by following up on something which John said in his opening comments, that around the world, according to every piece of evidence that I've ever seen, women work much longer hours than men. Um, and they work a large part of their time, of course, doing things, day-to-day -day tasks which are taken up around the home. Things like cooking, childcare, cleaning, washing, mending, tending to members of the family who are ill, helping with homework, uh, these sorts of household maintenance tasks. And informal social conventions and norm, norms in, in most societies dictate that it's women who have to do this care work. Now, these activities are tremendously important economically because they prepare people to be able to go out to work to go out to the fields and the factories and the call centers, but also to be able to go out to school and get the education that they need to be able to work. Now, feminist economists call these activities unpaid care work, and they're not captured at all adequately uh, in national accounts or economic statistics, despite the fact that without doing this work, people would not be able to go out to school or wouldn't be able to go out to work. And I count myself as one of many people uh, who would argue that because care is uh, necessary for paid work and yet is not measured, is not systematically measured, not systematically evaluated, this means we really don't have a lot of understanding about the economy. We really don't have a lot of understanding about economic policies. Now, the fact that women have to do this caregiving means that their paid work has to accommodate their role as providers of care. So paid work has to be flexible, 